Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be doing a 12 by 12 layout. Now you can see I am going to be using close to, close to my heart stuff because of course I am. I'm going to use um, a little bit from Blue Skies and I'm going to be using a little bit from the Stitched Together collection. Now the paper is going to be from Blue Skies and then the sticker sheet is from the Stitched Together collection, I do believe. Right here I am going to be using this Candy Apple cardstock as my background and I'm going to use the sprinkle papers right here. I will add a few more papers here later on. Right here I'm taking that little bit of a strip and I'm just kind of making myself some little homemade photo corners. I'm going to tape them down with some washi tape just so they stick. I could have glued it to the back but I don't know. I just use washi tape. I am going to make another one for the bottom right hand corner of this photo as well. I am using that same paper, that sprinkles paper, so that those photo corners do match the paper that I have right there in the background like that. Here I will go ahead and mat it on this... Um, candy apple card stock as well. I do have a ton of this. I meant to buy a couple sheets and I accidentally ordered a whole pack. So I have 24. So yes, I've been using the heck out of this red candy apple card stock. I do love it though. Um, and it goes fantastic with um, the blue skies and the stitched together collection that are out right now at close to my heart. Of course it does. It's one of the colors that are in that collection, right? Okay, you can see that um, mm -mm -mm, sticker sheet that's over to the left hand side. On there, I'm going to be pulling off the word friendship. See how big that is? It is a giant. And I am going to be popping up all those letters up on some little foam dots. I do use a lot of foam dots. And this does take me quite some time. You can see how the letters bump up and down. Um, it's the way, just the way that it's designed. So this is going to take me a minute to put down. I will cut away so you won't have to watch that. But yes, the friendship is just going to go right there along the bottom of the page. I think it looks super fantastic. Now the photo is a photo of when Tiffany came down here. I guess it was in March. It was before the COVID started. I think the COVID thing happened when she was down here and she had brought along her friend Kayla and Kayla's kids and her guy and so this is a photo that Kayla had took which is her friend and we're, we're standing in the background so this is not something for me this is something that I'm going to be giving to Tiffany uh, so there will not be any journaling on here at all because of course it's not coming to me it's a friendship between Tiffany and Kayla and then there's their kids in the background I'm in there but whatever they can put a blob over my face if they want to you can see I am using this geometric pattern right there over onto the left hand side of the page just to give it a little bit more color I want to bring some color in right so I have not I don't know that I've used that paper uh, on anything else other than this I'm not sure I don't think I have uh, geometric papers like that are not my most favorite now that flower paper that is my most favorite. <laughs> so I did take a scrap of that. I am going to put it right there going horizontally out the side. Now when I'm putting these flowers down right here, you can see they are yellow. They, those are stamped images that I had colored and then just fussy cut out and went ahead and used them. That makes me think that this might have been for a challenge. It might have been a stamping challenge or maybe even a coloring challenge. Not sure. Now, I did decide to go ahead and put a bag behind my photo. So Tiffany can put anything in that bag if she wants. She can throw her journaling in there if she wants to do journaling or whatnot. That's a bag that I got some embellishments um, that came in from Christina Sorge with one of my secret not secret kits. So yes, those bags are awesome and fabulous to reuse. Now you can see I also did pull out another sheet of embellishments and I just took some flowers off of those. Those are flowers that came from Vicki Booten, I do believe, and I'm going to layer those up on top of the other flowers down around the page. I will pop some up and then some I will go ahead and leave flat. Right here, I'm popping up the edge of that one. I'm going to build a little cluster right here next to this photo. And then I'm going to build a cluster up in the top left-hand corner. So you can see it kind of diagonal line. I love the diagonal lines, guys. You guys know this. 
<laughs> They're like my favorite design, the diagonal lines. So this right here is off of a zip strip from one of the papers from Close to My Heart. And this one says The Good Life. I am going to be popping it up on foam tape, just building up that cluster just a little bit more. I'm going to add another one of those later on here in a minute. Right here, I'm pulling out some flowers. Those are cute, right? Yeah, they're stamped images too. They're so cute. Those came out, I do believe, with the Blue Skies collection. Also still available. Um, it's a stamp. Well, the one I got, I got the one with the thin cuts, stamp and thin cuts. And here recently, I've been playing with those and I always stamp first and then cut. Well, I went ahead and tried it the other way. And on this, I don't know about any other stamp set, but on this particular stamp set, that was so much easier because these dies are really small and the stamped images are small. Well, not small, small. They're less than two inches. So I was able to use my diamond press so i just sat here and just bloop 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 die cut a whole bunch of them and went stamp 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 now if i would have had to do excuse me if i would have had to do that on the big shot it wouldn't have went as fast but i did use the diamond press when i did all those and it was so easy guys i've got so many of those stamped images right now okay so i do go ahead and finish it off with some enamel dots these are those ones from i don't know recollections or paper studio I don't know I can't remember um but they're the ones that have they're all big they're they don't have any really tiny ones so I use the medium and well their version of the medium and their version of the small and scattered those down around the page all right guys I want to thank you so much for joining me please check check the links down below hop over to close to my heart see if there's anything you want to pick up from me and I really appreciate you for watching thanks so much bye guys